Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Code with Ish. Uh, in this video, we'll be talking about few optimization uh, methods provided by React like use callback, react.memo and also we will see what are the best and efficient way to pass a callback as a props to your child component and also what are the things we need to avoid uh, while doing that. To explain that I have created this uh, code sandbox project with a basic template of react that you can see and also I have opened the console <coughs> right it's a default template provided by code sandbox uh, let's get started so first I'll create a component called um, child and it does nothing but return one h1 saying I am a child and let's try to use this component we can see right like um, yeah the output we can see it on the screen now next let's try to console log the number of times the child com child component is getting rendered i want to check that so child is getting rendered right if we see uh, child is getting rendered twice the reason is that why it's get it should have been only once but it's getting twice the reason is that if you see the index yes we have made use of strict mode so this is by default used so strict mode, um, as I've explained in my uh, React in interview preparation guide in my GitHub repo, uh, the link I've provided somewhere in the description, that strict mode is a default uh, development feature provided by React in which it re-renders and does couple of other things uh, to make sure that there are no unintended behavior happening in your React component. Uh, there are other reasons right like the component should be a pure component all those things it's doing that basically it 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 makes sure that there are no uh, no bugs going to the production yeah so let's get rid of that and now you can see it's getting uh, <coughs> child is getting rendered with being uh, consoled only once <coughs> now let's do something let's uh, create a state called count and set count equals to react dot use state of one it's giving me error because i have not imported react import react from react right <coughs> and try let's try to uh, cons uh show it on the screen so count value of count is count slash p <coughs> let's run this child is getting rendered uh, we are getting this right value of count is one now let's create a button that will increment the value of count so uh, let's do button on click equals to i'll just write inline method over here to increment the count set count equals to count plus one i'll give a text of increment slash button right now let's save it run it I am a child now let's try to increment it so every time the value is getting incremented uh, our child component is also getting re-rendered why is that happening because every time this re-renders all the child component also re-renders that's how diffing algorithm works again about that also I have discussed in my github uh, repo about the interview preparation guide so uh, when a tree updates the entire subtree also it updates so that is the default behavior now let's first let's try to uh, tackle that right let's try to make sure that child is getting rendered only only when it's required so for that i'll make use of something called react.memo okay let's uh, create another component const my child equals to react.child and react.memo uh, and we'll provide this component called child and let's use that component instead now if i refresh this child is getting rendered now if i increment you see right the child is getting incremented uh, no the child is getting uh, rendered only once uh, now let's do something interesting right while my child is there let's pass let's create a callback function callback which does nothing okay and let's pass a callback as a props to my to my child let's see what happens now now when i increment my count you see my child is getting re-rendered again so why is that happening uh, 
the state the we have not passed the state even then why is my child component getting rendered again that is because the props that we have passed is a function and every time when a component re-renders the function whatever is there it gets created again so it's not the same function the next time then what happens the props that we are passing is a different one right so the child component it again re-renders that is the that is a problem that is a problem that we want to solve so to solve that react itself has provided a way a method or a hook to say called use callback use callback it caches the uh, method it caches the function so let's do something like const callback i'm making use of use callback use callback and i pass that function as the first parameter and the second one is a dependency array so in this case i don't have any dependency so i'll just give empty array now if i save it and run this again see uh, even though the value of count is getting increased uh, my child is getting rendered only once now let's come to the most important part of this video like what is the best way to pass to this as a callback if i'm passing that is amazing right that is how we have achieved the optimization now you see there is a method which we passed as we have just passing the function and next is on this on click we are having an inline function right both both the ways are correct now let's try to do the same over here if i do a callback like this now what do you expect to happen in terms of behavior or the uh, feature uh, nothing is going to change but now if i increment it you see every time again the child is getting re-rendered why is that happening again it's the same reason on this callback whatever function we are passing this is not cached anywhere so this is a new function being passed every time and again the child gets re-rendered so even though we have made use of this react memo use callback to achieve performance but a slight mistake like this can hamper all our work and can also impact on our performance while in some cases like on click this just updating the state this is a fair enough behavior but in other cases like uh, when we are passing a uh, props as a function to the child component it's always recommended to not use this inline function as you saw right the performance gets impacted because you cannot uh, the, the use callback whatever you have made use of will not be working over here yes that is all i wanted to cover in this video now just making use of the methods provided by react but also making use of it optimally and efficiently so that you achieve the performance improvement yeah that is all uh, thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like this and if you want me to keep making such videos, do let me know in the comments. Thank you. Have a nice day.